Hey guys, it is Mr. Decker here. We're looking at code.org lesson eight in the express unit. And we're going to be working with virtual pets in Sprite Lab today. All right, let's hop to it. Whoa, check out this cool pet. Do this. It says play with the virtual pet program, read the code to see how it works, and you can even make changes. What happens when the pet touches the other sprites? And what happens when you click on the pet? All right. Let's go ahead and, oh, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Maybe I can, nope, that just scrolls. Okay, whatever. Let's make this bigger. Now let's run. All right, so if I click this, nothing happens. If I click on the, when I click on the dog, the dog barks, all right? And if I move the bowl up here, he makes a eating sound and he gets bigger and bigger every time. Big boy. All right. And for the tennis ball. Okay, cool. That makes him spin around. Does that change anything? Same thing. He just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. I'm going to stop the program now and let's dig into this code. When run, set the background to that rock background. We've made a sprite at 188, 269, the dog. We've made a sprite, the food dog bowl with food in it over here, the tennis ball right here. It says, uh, set the size of the dog, the bowl and the bowl to 100 and set the tennis ball to 50. And then sprite begins being draggable and sprite be uh, for the dog bowl and for the tennis ball. So that's what allows us to drag it up to the dog. And then we have a when dog touches bowl, then change the dog size by 10 and play that clicky crunch sound. So every time you drag the bowl up to the dog, this conditional statement, change the dog size or when dog touches bowl, then the dog will grow and he makes that sound. All right, so let's scroll down a little further. When dog touches the tennis ball, the dog stops everything. And then Sprite begins spinning right and plays a sound, a ding notification. When dog is clicked, the dog stops everything, points north. Okay, let's try that because we didn't try that. Let's make him spin. And then if I click him, yeah, okay. So that's working, cool. All right, click here to add new costumes to your project. So you go to the costumes tab to add costumes. And this workspace notification says this icon means that this level is a part of a larger project and changes are going to be saved across all these levels. Okay, very good. All right, now it's your turn to create your own virtual pet. Let's start by making sprites for your pet and its food. All right, so click the costume tab to open. Okay, make two sprites with different costumes. So we'll go to the costumes tab. We already have the dog and other things. If you don't like what's here, you can click new costume and select something from there. I'm gonna use what's already here, I think. Uh, so make two sprites with different costumes. All right, we're gonna do that down here. So sprite drawer, make a new dog sprite. Can I toggle this out of the way at all? Less, there we go. All right, and so if I click more, it brings my instructions back. Less toggles them away. All right, I'm good with that. Uh, let's get, let's make a, penguin. All right. And then let's move our penguin up here. And then let's add another sprite. And let's add the shrimp. So our penguin is going to be eating some shrimp and let's make this shrimp smaller. So sprites set size of the shrimp. Uh, 50 works. We can still tell it's a shrimp, but it is significantly smaller than it was by half. 
All right, choose different locations for your sprites and change the size of your sprites with a set size block. I'll make my penguin a little bit bigger, I think. Make sure I've got the penguin selected. Let's make him like 125. And I'll make him 25% bigger than he was originally. And then let's move our shrimp. I'm going to put our shrimp right here. Also, I want to set my background to something. Um, let's see. Sure, we'll go with that. Actually, that makes it kind of hard to see the shrimp, doesn't it? Uh, there we go. That's a little more standouty. All right, let's make sure we did everything. Change the size of the sprites. Choose different locations. We've got it. Okay, so run. And let's continue to the next bubble. All right. So next, let's make it so our user can move the food to the pet with the being draggable behavior. We're going to add a sprite begins block to our code. All right. And we're going to find being draggable behavior and add it to the code. And then we're going to press run. And we should be able at that point to move the food around the screen by clicking or tapping. OK. So sprites, or wait, behaviors, right? Sprite begins. The shrimp. And we want him to be draggable. Let's run it. And then now we can move him around. Good. Let's keep playing. It said I can click. OK, so yeah. So you got to click and hold down to get him to move. All right, so continue. Now let's use a when touching event block to make your own pet grow when it eats. All right, let's do that. So less, so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, events. When touch when touches when penguin touches shrimp, then let's see. Use a change size block. All right. Sprites change size. Change the size by ten. Let's make sure that's how it wants it. Optional, play a sound when your pet eats its food. So let's add that to world, play a sound, choose, choose. Uh, and then let's see, an achievement, animals. Let's see, a chirp. Rooster, tiger, kitten, sheep, puppy, goat, donkey, dolphin, dinosaur, dog, cow, chicken. I don't see a penguin effect. Let's see if there's like a eat sound or a munch. Hmm. What could we use? Collect sound? Clicky crunch. There we go. We'll use that. Makes a crunch sound. So let's see if that works. Let's run it. It does work, and the penguin's getting bigger every time. Cool. That's working. Continue. All right, on bubble five, we're going to be adding another draggable sprite for our pet to play with, and this could be a toy or even a friend. So let's uh, go to the costumes and choose something. So. Let's see, I'm going to move this up here so I can work down here because I want this sprite to appear at the beginning of my program. And let's see, penguins also eat fish. We'll put the fish down here, on the bottom right. And we'll leave it at that size. That's a good size. So what else do I want to do? Let's see. 
more, choose a costume, optional, change the size of your new sprite, and give the sprite a being draggable behavior. Okay, so, so behaviors, or sorry, sprites, wait, you know, yeah, sprite begins, fish begins, being draggable, right? All right, so now let's try that. Yep, now the fish is draggable, and this is still working. Good. All right, bubble six. Now let's show your pet's excitement by giving it a behavior when the new sprite touches it. All right. Show the pet's excitement by giving it a behavior when the new sprite touches it. Add another when touches block. All right, so let's get this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So uh events when touches when penguin touches fish we're gonna make the penguin grow even bigger so let's see we're gonna change size of the penguin by 25 enter let's make sure that's working Okay, good. And then let's see. We're going to give it a new behavior also on top of changing the size. So let's go to behaviors, sprite begins, penguin begins, behaviors. Let's see. What do we want him to be able to do? 